What's up guys, how's it going? Um, this is my third video on my registry set. Um, thought I'd make another one tonight. Um, I did have some mail come in the meantime. This is Ernie Smith out of the 1935 Chickle set. Um, I mentioned that in one of my previous two videos that I had this card coming. Um, it got here and this is it. I think there was only about 70 or 80 of these total graded ever so even though it's only a a grade of 4.5, still a really cool card to have and a great deal on it. So, really a cool looking card. With that being said, I'm um, going to move into the 1952 Bowman set that, uh, set that I have. Uh, 1955 Bowman as well as 1954 Bowman. So I'll start out with 52. That would be uh, Bill Houghton. He was a player for the Packers from 1952 to 1958. This card, only a population of 11, with none graded higher. Um, this is the Bowman Small version. Um, there's also the Bowman Large version, of course, which are a little more sought after. Um, but the pop populations for each of them are actually pretty similar. Um, Bill Houghton uh, went to college in Rice. Obviously, these 1952 Bowman cards... Um, it kind of shows them in their college uniforms. Um, he was a four-time Pro Bowler and wide receiver for the Packers. Um, this card typically, in this condition, um, only a population of 11 with none graded higher, typically goes for about seven or eight hundred dollars. Next up, we have Fred Cohn, another Packer from the 1952 Bowman set. Um, this card is a PSA 8, just like the last one, population of 20, only 2 graded higher. Um, Fred Cohn came out of Clemson University, played fullback and place kicker for the Packers from 1951 to 1957. And it's Lee Buford's favorite player. Still looking for the uh, 1952 Bowman Bobby Dillon um, to add to the registry set. Have not seen one of those come up since I've been looking, so just one of those cards that I haven't seen yet. Moving on to 1954 Bowman, um, there are three Packers that I need from 1954. This is one of them, Al Carmichael. Um, this card I have in mint 9 grade, which is the top grade for this card ever graded. Um, population of only 7, and of course none graded higher. Uh, Al Carmichael went to college in USC, played for the Packers from 53 to 58 at halfback and place kicker. That would be Al Carmichael. Next we have John Martin Kovich. Um, this also is a top population card, uh, graded in mint nine, only nine, population of nine, none graded higher of course. Uh, John Martin Kovich went to college at Xavier University, played for the Packers from 51 to 56 at defensive end where he was a three-time pro bowler. Uh, the third card that I need for 54 Bowman is Dave Hanner, which is a short print. Um, I have not seen that one come up yet. Uh, in PSA 8 or better, so it's another card I'm still looking for. Um, and we'll finish up with 1955 Bowman. Um, I have two cards out of the 1955 Bowman set on the re on the registry. Um, the first is uh, Howard Ferguson, or Howie Ferguson. Um, this card in PSA 8, population 47, 9 graded higher, no 10s ever graded. Went to college, uh, actually he didn't go to college. Apparently he was just discovered uh, playing for the U.S. Navy and was offered a contract. So no college for Howard Ferguson. Um, he did play fullback and halfback for the Packers and did make the Pro Bowl in 1955. Um, and last but not least we have Jimmy Ringo. Probably my favorite card out of this group other than maybe the uh, Bill Houghton. Uh, Jim Ringo in PSA 8. This is a really hard card to find in high grade. Um, this Jim Ringo in PSA 8, population of only 39, with only 4 graded higher. Of course, he is an NFL Hall of Famer, so this also goes to the NFL Hall of Fame set, the NFL Hall of Fame Packers set, and the all-time Packers set. Uh, no 10s graded for this card either. Um, Jimmy Ringo went to college in Syracuse, played for the Packers for 10 years, from 53 to 63, 
And then four years after that, I believe he played for the Eagles. Uh, during that time, he was a 10-time Pro Bowler, two-time NFL champion, and part of the 60s All-Decade team. So there we go, Jimmy Ringo. So next, uh, next video, we'll talk about uh, 1956 and 1957 tops. And um, I might throw in that a 1958 card as well. So thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.